and we are live. Hello, everybody. It is another Friday, and it is another wonderful Wiz Kids paint along with Army Painter and sponsored by Miniature Market with giveaways and all the other fun stuff that we do. Whew. <clears throat> That's a mouthful, isn't it? Today, well, listen, last couple of weeks we have painted everything red that is possible to be painted. We mixed in something with the beholder. But um, the way they had this going, Crescent Dancer, how are you, Christopher, Dan? Good to see you all. The way they had this go, well, this is the way it goes. But going forward, you're really going to see some techniques as we really get going. And we're really going to have a lot of fun learning this and doing this, uh, um, especially in the coming weeks as you, you kind of start to see things that you don't expect to see. And we'll take a look at the end of the program with the next um, uh, figure that you, we're going to have in line for next week. But today, Joe Monster X. Christopher, Dragon MK, White Heroic, whoo, novice painter here. Oh, I think I can highlight some of these. I forgot. I'm running it on my own today, so don't forgive me, but we'll get through it. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, Timothy, how are you? And, of course, Avocado Hydra over on Twitter. We are, we are running on three different platforms. We are running on Board Game Geek. We're running on Rob's Tabletop World. Make sure you like and subscribe, of course. And then uh, we're also running on Twitch, which is Rob's Tabletop World over there. Make sure you follow and get a little dance and Pikachu action. Never hurts. Never hurts. Uh, like I said, today we are going to be doing the Red Dragon. Whoa, see, there you go. Omnicraft, just subscribe to us. Thank you so much. And you got a little dancing star little dancing star there for those of you <laughs> who are watching at home uh i'm glad you're all doing well i hope you guys are keeping safe and most importantly this is a paint group and oh wow look what the cat dragged in hey thanks for showing up hey rob really appreciate it every week friday right on time too <laughs> All right, so we did a couple things. We kind of switched a few cameras around. I wanted to show you that uh, I'm going to be able to do one of these, which will help a little bit, okay? Um, we're experimenting with Zoom going forward, so we'll see how that works out. And most of all, uh, we're just going to – how am I going to do this? No, that's the wrong one. That's the right one. Right, Helen? <laughs> Yes. Okay, there we go. All right. So look at that question. Are you streaming on Twitch? Yes, I am. Uh, Rob's, Rob's Tabletop World. Uh, we do everything in threes around here. And Ryan, hi, everyone. I just finished my Pathfinder Dragon. Very cool. But this, this, my friend, is a dragon that you really want to paint. This this is really cool. Now, it, it comes with with this really neat base, and I want to show you guys. You can glue this to here, of course, and then he sits kind of up on here. He balances there, and then he's got this little fire thing that he's spitting out, okay? We're going to take care of that, and we're going to bring this all to life. Now, the reason you see this partially going is because I need to stay ahead of you guys. Kabook! What's up, my dear? And how are you, Helen, by the way? Not too bad. How are you? Sounds like you're having a heck of a day like me. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, the, God. Uh. You know, the governor did his whole yay thing. And and we're all excited. Yeah, yeah, well, let's leave that be. Yeah. All right. So, anyways, what you're going to do is the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to paint this thing entirely red. And uh, there's a couple things that you can do. You can use uh, this. This is what I'm using, which is a dragon red. Okay, which works perfectly. And we let me move some things over here. So there's I can... a shock dragon red for a red dragon. <laughs> oh God, Helen, you're on fire today. Yeah, it's not my fault. <laughs> Danica, how are you? 
Steph, how are you? And don't forget, at the very end of this, oh, see, I, I'm, I guess I'm supposed to do this. Don't forget, at the very end of this, we are going to be giving away two gift certificates to our fantastic sponsor, none other than the fantastic Miniature Market, who are, 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 are giving these away. Now, you can use that, but you can also use one of these contrast colors uh, that works very well. And I think you'll find that it, it works perfectly. So let's let's just start painting. All you want to do is just cover the bad boy in complete, completely red. And you'll see what I'm talking about here. And you really want to take your time with it. And these are already pre-primed. We're going to worry about this while it's driving. So we're not going to. Uh, what is that? Do you hear something in the background? No. I do. I got nothing. Okay. I heard somebody talking. It was weird. Huh. That's weird. I'm trying to... Now, welcome to our world. Where yeah, welcome to our weird. world. The most unprofessional. You heard that too, Kabuki? Okay, I thought I was crazy. Okay. Got nothing. Okay. It might be coming from your end. It, it's possible. It's possible. Next time you start talking, I'm going to mute you and find out. There you go. All right. Oh, see, I mean, oh, make sure you look at every. The real tough part about this here is getting it in between these wings. Okay, you can move them because they are movable, but just make sure that you got a good, uh, you know, a decent brush, an older brush, because you're gonna. It's going to take a little beating going down in between there. Okay, so. Nice thing about this is I want to stay one step ahead of you guys. And then, you know, of course you could watch it back. I mean, it, or you can probably outdo me and paint faster than I can. That's okay too. But um, one of the things that we want to show here is how, <laughs> what's that? It's mama dragon looking for her baby. <laughs> yeah. It's a mama dragon looking for a baby. <laughs> what I really want to do is I really want to, I really want to, just kind of <laughs> oh i just got that i thought they were talking about the model uh, <laughs> i go yeah mama dragon yeah i go wait a minute no this is a baby dragon <laughs> way to go way to go you could oh here couldn't you have flattened out the wings before painting and then after what no no we're here to do things fast okay so you just hold it apart it saves you a lot of uh, pre-work, but you do get it in there. Just use an older brush. That's all I'm saying. I'm just giving a little heads up to everybody. That's all. You could just spread the wings and, and just paint that. Wait till it dries, too. I mean, it's the same thing. But no. I don't want to change the shape of the, the wings. I like the way the wings are. They they're, You'll see in the... The we I actually I'm actually painting two of these as we speak. Okay. And at the end of this, at the end of this paint thing, no matter how long it goes, if it goes for a year or whatever, uh, I think I'm going to do a giveaway where we can maybe do something where we can raise some money for some charity on every single figure I paint from this Ooh. line. Because that's that would, what we, that's what we do. Be cool. It sure would be. All right. So, whoa, whoa, easy there, kid, with the paint. All right, and all you want to do, nice even strokes, and get in there. And what did he do? If you are painting along at home and are interested in joining us, you can send an email to auranites at gmail .com and I can send you the link. Yeah, we even open it up to the public because that's yep. what we do. This is a, we're going to be trying something new. And, and, and those of you that are familiar with Rob's tabletop world, we started experimenting with uh, <laughs> Zoom. Wow. Yeah, that was, that was experiment. interesting. <laughs> yeah, it was a train wreck. And I do mean experimenting. Hi, uh, Rob from South Africa. Welcome, Spiros. Spiros, I got an email from you. I did read it. Uh, I think I got a return. Uh, I returned an email to you. And I don't know if David Martin is here, but I got an email from him as well. And I will be writing him back. I was in the middle of prepping for this. All right. not That's red. 
I mean, that's about as red as you get, okay? I think miniature market should be out of red by now. Uh, yeah, I know. I think... Uh, hello from Virginia. Well, hello, David. Good well, to have you here. Yeah, we always, we always enjoy having people here. Eric Schwartz has entered the arena. How are you, Eric? Well, he's here. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, Welcome. Fun. Ah, he's working oh, on his. Uh, can't unmute because the guest chose to mute his. Okay, fine. Oh, All right. There we go. There All we right. Go. There we go. How are you? Awesome. How are you? All right. Welcome. Thank you. It's uh my very first time ever painting. Oh boy. So if you <laughs> mess this up, it's my fault, isn't it? No, no, not 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 <laughs> in the least. All right. Well, I'll tell you this much. Uh, we're thrilled to have you here. Thanks for popping in. And what did I do here? Okay. Rob, which red contrast paint did you suggest? Uh, I really suggest going with the Blood Angel Red. Um, I really think that that would really shine on, on a project like this. Okay, hold on here. I gotta get a little of this off my, my hand. Now we've got this one. I'm gonna take it to a certain point, and then we are going to go over to the other dragon and highlight. So bear with me. I'm going to be going a million miles an hour. But the reason for that is I live in Florida and we are predicted to have some thunderstorms. We don't have thunderstorms. We have thunderstorms. There you go. Clear I was to say we, we had earth shaking world stopping storms. Mm -hmm. So what we're trying to do is kind of do a variation of what we see on the back here. Now, right now, I want to work on this piece so it can dry. Now, this you can use your contrast paints on. Um, I really suggest using contrast or any kind of glazes that you might have. For me, I'm going to use a glaze, and I'm going to show you why, because we're going to just let him dry for a little bit, even though the important parts that I need are dried. Um, I do have brushes here somewhere. Okay, there we go. It's been one of those days, Helen. One of those days. I hear you. I streamed a little earlier too. Um, yeah, I, I saw you come on, but by the time I got everything squared here, you were off again. It's okay. It only hurt for a little while. So I'm going to use a laminators, a laminators yellow. Okay. Um, this is a glaze, and I really like how it goes on these clear plastics. Now we're going to be talking about these clear plastics a lot next week. So I really want you guys to really, uh, this is my glue brush. Come on, Rob. How long is it best to let paint dry between coats? Uh, Until it's dry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just tend to keep moving. You know, if I feel it's dry and, I, you know, I can rub my hands on it a little bit, uh, that works for me, believe it or not. Uh, that's all I try to do. Now you see, do you see what's happening here? I'm just using this and I'm painting my fingers too because of the way this is. And I'm really, oof. and there's no easy way to grab this, but I'm just taking this glaze and I want this glaze to get on here, which is fine. Okay. And I like the yellow glaze. It breaks things up a little bit. But that's not the only glaze we're going to put on there. So we're, now that we got the glaze on here, we're going to put this off to the side. Stay over there. That serial hero says he's trying to get some paint off the clear plastic wick from last week's model. He wants it to be more translucent. Look at him. Look at him. That is always a challenge. Um, the glaze is pretty. Unfortunately, it's discontinued. So Yeah, it's discontinued. I'm using it, but I really suggest uh, just as good use contrast paints and I, I think they're they're good here we're just going to go hardcore gray and where did i put my grays oh, dragon pardon. mk ever mess with airbrushes i'll take that one yes he does he actually has a series uh a, a short series painting 102 that talks a little bit about using airbrushes mm -hmm. um i i use it but i i really tend to try to paint for beginners i think huh. that's you know, I, I think, you know, everybody can get something out of it. And, but I really tend to, I tend to just try to have people pick up 
their brush for the first time, like our dear friend Eric. Yep. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. Hold on. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Castle Gray. I'm going to use some Castle Gray. And all I want to do here is just get it on there. Uh, is this the bad brush? Good. Yes. So we have this base here. You don't want to get it on the clear plastic. Try not to. Okay. Even though, you know, you could paint that if you wanted to. It doesn't matter. So I, I just tend to, I always tend to do right around the post first. So I know I can be a little bit messier and quicker. Speed is my game because I just paint way too many figures. So much truth there. Uh, yes. Last year you painted an unbelievable number of minis. Yeah, and I'm still behind. And I'm still behind. But uh, we'll get there. Yep. Um, yeah, so the, the thing with, there's a couple questions about glazes and contrast paints and things. Um, the thing with those paints is they're translucent, which means that you can see through them. You The normal paint, the pigments actually block the light, so you can't see through it. So mm -hmm. that's why you have to use a special paint to do the clears. Otherwise, you end up with opaque, which you can do, and you know that's, but it's a different effect. Well, y you're going to see next week, and this is probably a good time to introduce what we're painting next week, because probably you would look at it and go, okay, that's not going to be exciting. But, oh, trust me, it will be. And for those of you that will be painting at home, okay, there we go. That's all we want to do. Boof. Right? Okay. I poured too much paint. That's why I always, sometimes I go with the pot because I uh -huh. get a little too happy with the paint. I'm going to put another, another coat on there. Now, next week, just to keep everybody informed, we're we going to go and paint a water elemental. Now, Take a look at this, okay? It's completely clear, okay? So what can you do with it? You know what I mean? And you look at that, uh, take about two minutes. No, 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 no. What I want you to do is prime this white at home, okay? Because what we're going to do is we are actually going to make this water elemental really come to life the way I, I want him to come to life. And, you know, you can take a look at it and make a decision for yourself. It may not be. Kenneth, how are you? Madison? How are you? I am most excited for next week. See? Look at ah, that. Excellent. There you go. There you uh, go. I have not tried the contrast, but Kenneth says that some of the transparents aren't quite transparent enough. I No, but I, you got to make you got to make the best of what you got there. And Yeah. And True transparent paints are actually relatively rare. Yeah. A lot of the colors used in paint are by nature opaque. So he's jacked up. I mean, look at him. He's got his arms out. He's just looking, you know, cool as anything. I mean, this is going to be a lot of fun because what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to do water. And I really enjoy doing water because we start dark and then we kind of go lighter. Then we go dark. And then all of a sudden we go, it becomes 50 shades of whatever. Uh, 15 shades of whatever. Okay. Well, let's just change that for the kids at home. All right. <laughs> Sorry, since you just went yeah, I knew you had a the laugh there, it. you know. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Hello, yeah. Shinobi in Colorado. Good to have you. Yes. And listen, you're going to make mistakes. Like I just made a mistake here, and I got a little gray on that post, but that's all right. I took care of that. Once the again, thing... those of you who want to paint along can send me an email, orenites, o r e n i t e s at gmail dot com, and I will get you hooked up. All right. Let's let's see how Eric's doing. Eric, let's see. Hold on, let me get let me get Madison out of the way here. There we go. <laughs> all right, there you go. That's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta do. Looking great. Yeah, you're watering down your paints, which I forgot to say, but good job. Yeah, what's going so, on? Uh, or even I if you're not, don't be, worry about it. Yeah, that may be just be the natural the the paint that I'm using because I, right. I I didn't do anything. Well, because it's good and thin, so that's good. Sometimes the paints come thin enough, and you don't have to water them down more. What you want to do is you want to water them. You want to water them down a little bit, you know, depending if you got a nice thick paint. Okay. And uh, what that's going to, you know, just take a, you know, like dip your your brush into your uh, uh, water and just you know put a little in there every once in a while, just to keep mm -hmm. it nice and fresh and moving. There you go. That's all you got to do. Bang. 
Okay. And you're off and moving. Yep. Because right. right, it can't thicken up on a on the work yeah, surface. And you don't want to thicken up it because then you start to block all the detail. All right, okay. there we go. All right. This is glue. Very sticky stuff. Kabuki, where's that from? We'll wait for Kabuki to answer. And then what you're going to do is I like to use this because it only takes about five, 10 minutes to adhere. So this one has been cut and used a thousand times. So it's going to take me a little while. Airbrush Vallejo paints normally come thinned out. They sure do. I have a ton of them. Annie Reynolds, how are you, my dear? Mm -mm -mm. She, she didn't expect us to say hi to her. And uh, one of my favorites of all time. The one Pip wonder herself. Why don't you come in here for a little bit and just just talk? Oh, she she says she has to run. Oh, she has to run. Yeah. She's uh, Spiros, this Rob is Rob uses a mix of paints at the moment. He the red is a army painter paint called Dragon Red. He did use a Citadel paint or a Games Workshop paint for the glaze on the fire or the breath weapon there. I'm I'm really using more army painter. Than, than anything else right now. Right. Um, I do have a billion paints from all different companies, but, you know, I like to paint with our sponsor and I enjoy their paints very much. And that is Army Builder, uh, Army Painter, Army Builder. Jeez. I'm Rob, you're, you're back in uh, focus on you mode. <laughs> huh? I mean, we love seeing you, but if you want the rest of us, you have to switch modes. What did I do? Hold on here. Is it, We're not on screen. Who's not on screen? Uh, you guys? Yeah, Eric and I. Oh, that, that's that's on purpose. Nobody okay. wants to see you guys. You it's shocking. <laughs> Obviously. I mean, that's what we're here for. <laughs> the next thing that we want to do here, okay, with, with, our, with our big boy here, is um, we have a skeletal bone. Skeletal bone. Ooh. All right. So what we're going to want to do with that, and we're moving pretty good, which I'm very happy. Uh, we're going to get a little bit of this bone into my cup here. You guys can't see it. I'm off camera. And all I'm going to do is I want to start painting this breastplate that he has here. Now, the way I do it is I look at his scales and I go as wide as his scales. I really want to get in here. Why am I, you, I keep on picking up this stupid brush. Oh, for the love of Mike. All right. And I'm not worried if I go over the line a little bit, but I do want to cover that red. Okay. And I'm going to come all the way up underneath here. I'm going to change this brush because this isn't the one I wanted to use. <clears throat> Let me tell you something. Painting live is never easy. <laughs> nope. It is never, ever easy. But we've done for so many years now that we're actually okay at it. Oh, here we go. Uh... All right. With the ah, uh, I disagree. I'm sorry. I'm no. I'm reading something else. Oh, well, I'm, I'm taking not... care of other things. Oh, that a girl. All right, and here's that little joint there, where that that piece goes into. Don't worry about painting on it. You can either you can you know you can either glue the dragon on there, which I suggest at the very you know at the very end of everything, is to glue the dragon on there. And as you can see, what you want to do is you want to come in here and you want to come all the way down. And usually it, what I like to do is kind of, I'm not worried about coverage as much, you know, getting a good thick coverage on here. As much as I am just kind of marking like the territory that I want to paint, how far I want to go. Okay. And I want to run this all the way through his tail a bit. Uh because he's a young dragon, so he hasn't fully matured. So he's kind of got like baby scales. Um, dragon MK was asking about whether these came, whether those colors came in the uh, 
in the Nulzer's miniature set. They do. No. They no. they actually do, but they're called different things. So unfortunately, you, you can't do a one for one comparison. Nulzer's is made by Army Painter. They have a, a set specifically oh. for the miniatures. Okay. So yeah, yeah, they do have a set. It it's it's the the D and D colors set and. Uh, Army Painter has a, a habit, however, of renaming their names, colors yeah. for all their individual sets. Yeah. It makes it a little easier if you're kind of trying to figure out what to paint something sometimes, but it means that it's less, uh, well, generic and able to follow along. I'm going to be honest with you. If, if, if I have the chance, I'm going to try to paint the entire line. So we will have a blueprint for you. Th these shows, they're live. They're fun. You know, they're fun for us, at least. Um but the most important thing is is that we're building blueprints. You can get an idea from it. Does Nulzer's you... paint the same as Army Painter? It's made by Army Painter. Yes. Yes, it is. It is Army Painter paint. Mm -hmm. Army Painter's all over the place. Yeah, they are. They do stuff for Simon, which is now called Simon again. Yeah. <laughs> they, they gave up on the come on. Yeah. Come on. It, it was Stop. such yeah, I know. Come on. I mean, I didn't Stop. understand that at all. Um, now go ahead. The, the nice thing about this is there's a nice line here that you can follow because you've got these thicker scales, and those are the ones that I'm really kind kind of just painting out. And then you go into a smaller scales on the side here. This is why we're going over to zoom so you can see things a lot better. We're trying to get up to 1080, which I want to. Because I paint on my channel in 1080. Uh -huh. You know, and I make sure that you guys can see every nook and cranny and mistake that I make, which is important. So once I, I, I clean that out, okay, I want to come up to his horns here. And I want to kind of start right there and work my way outwards. All right. And then come back here. And I'm doing this so you get a good idea wh what I'm thinking of doing here. Because I'm going to show you what I've done. <laughs> uh, Madison, we are streaming through a program called StreamYard. It allows us to uh, stream on different platforms right. and have people inside here painting with us. Mm -hmm. And we can talk to you guys as well as talk to the people that are here that want to learn how to paint. And in the coming weeks, you know, like I said, we open this up. Anybody can come in. Even if you just have some questions that you want to ask me in person, maybe you want to talk to Helen. Who knows? Um, um, yeah. I mean, Eric actually emailed me at Aura Nights and, you know, we kind of conversed back and forth on how to get him set up and I'm available to help you do mic tests, camera tests, whatever, if you need those too. Okay. The other thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to paint. He's got like little claws on these. Exactly. <laughs> Ivan the Putt, Mutt. No, the Nulzars uh, miniatures generally come pre-primed. The, the only reason we have to prime the water elemental is because it's translucent and we're going to be painting it. We're going to do something different with it. We're going to do something different with it. And and for me, that's that's fun. Mm -hmm. uh, can uh, you mix glaze medium into paints to get uh, a more transparent paint? No, I wouldn't. I would use it. I would just use a medium. A medium will thin out your paint. Uh, yeah. And I think well, that's glaze medium. Good. Yeah. It, I, you'll I just, still have I, some opacity, though. It won't be yeah. truly translucent. Next thing is you want to get all his little tootsies. Okay, so he's got, and he's got claws, and he's got teeth, and you're gonna to want to, you're gonna to want to get all that, okay? And make sure you do it, turn it over and do both sides. All right, and the same thing with his hands. All right, and eventually, what you're gonna have is this all, kind of ready to go all right so i'm going to put that aside for a second okay i think we're going to switch over on him because we're almost to that point now but we'll get to that now i got this yellow 
but there's another glaze. It's called Blood Letter. You can find these still on, on eBay if you really want them. Yeah, but you're going to pay $30, $40 a pot. Really? Yeah, I looked last week. That's insane. Yeah. Uh, Kenneth, yes, the Water Elemental is next week. Information is in the description below the YouTube video on Rob's Tabletop World. Yeah, you can get all these. Uh, they're 10% off still, I believe, at Miniature Market. So I, I highly suggest it if you want to paint along. Uh, now we're going to take this glaze and we're going to go over. And we're just going to kind of give this reddish yellow hue. Ooh. And it's kind of mixing things. But that's okay with me. That's how I roll. I experimented th this last week, I, I believe, with uh, Baylor. You and should. Was, it looked really good, too. It made a nice fire yeah. effect. It made a nice fire effect. So, I, you know, if it's not broke, why do I hear myself? Okay. That's me. Okay. Okay, there we go. All right, so now... <laughs> okay. Hold on here. And I'm just trying to get this on here. Boom. Now we put this aside and we let that dry. Stay there. Now, this is where business picks up a little bit. Now, I didn't finish everything on here, but I want to show you some of the different things that, that you can do with him. And then we're going to go over to the other model and we'll, we move. We move. Because we like to keep things to about an hour, hour and a half. Okay. Uh, what do I have here? We have some strong tone. Okay. Um, and where is it? Cause I didn't pull it out. You can go dark tone. You can go. Yeah, there it is. Dark tone. Sorry about that folks. Soft tone. You can go red tone even. Okay. You can use any of these washes that you want. Okay. Uh, the brown, I really like, and I'll tell you why, because it really gets in there. It darkens up this dragon, which I want to do, because, again, I want to bring, I want to I want to get all the detail that's in this dragon, and I really darken this dragon up, and then I bring him back out. I bring him back out. Okay. So we're going to do that now. How's that, Helen? That's a lot. Of hand, that's a lot of hand motion going on. That was a lot. I, I was feeling some Italian coming through there. There was no Italian there. That was all Polish. Eh, they're close. <laughs> Just over a set of mountains, you know. Uh, yeah, that's all. That's all. All right. So now I I'm going to do right now is the soft tone. Okay, the soft brown tone. And I really like this because how this is going to look. Now, look what happens here. I start, I, I'm using it on the red and, and the uh, um, skeletal bone. Okay. And I'm not worried about how heavy I'm putting it on. Okay. Because look what it's doing. Okay. It's creating definition. All right. It's getting in there and it's creating definition. And that's exactly what we want. Now, I also painted, you'll, you'll see that I painted his, his um, teeth white and everything like that. But for the purpose of this, I am just trying to give you an idea and show you how this all goes. Or else I would go a little bit further with this guy. And I just want, you want to get that. You really want to get this in here. And you want to get it on his wings, and, and then you can kind of just you just take nice, good, even strokes. And you'll see how it'll sit in there. And when it dries, it darkens everything up and just gives this beautiful, beautiful base. Beautiful. And don't forget, if you're watching us on Board Game Geek, to make sure you subscribe here. If you're watching us on Rob's Tabletop World, Make sure that you subscribe and smash that like button like there was no tomorrow. Because the more you smash the like button, the bigger those gift certificates get. And then uh, 
also don't forget to subscribe to us both on Twitch. And yeah, you got it. YouTube. We're all over the place. Steph Stargirl, what's the difference between an ink and a wash? I, I, I never really find too much of a difference. Okay. An ink is, is, is to get in there and it really darkens things up. And a wash does the same thing. It gets in the recesses and creates creates depth. All right. And you just, you see what I'm doing here. You see how you're doing it. You really, you really control it with your brush. Make sure that it gets in there. Like these scales here. You want to make sure that this gets in here, but doesn't pull. So move it around. Move it around. You know, sometimes you want it to pull a little bit, a little bit. But you can see that that we get some great definition there. Oh, oh, let me try this. Oh, look at you, Rob. Fancy schmancy. Whoa. All right, hold on here. Uh, how do I do that? There we go. Whoop. There we go. <laughs> I got to make the noises. Whoop. Whoop. Yes. We, we cannot switch cameras without the noises. Yeah. You see what's happening here. You're getting some nice definition in there. You're seeing the scales create light and shadow. And, hey, you're off and running. <laughs> My dogs even like it. Indeed. Look, uh, what is the most creative name for a paint color you've ever seen? One I couldn't pronounce. <laughs> um, that does no. Zip it to lipid. Well, yeah, which I was is that I was gonna say that doesn't narrow it down much. No, it doesn't because <laughs> half of them I can't pronounce. Uh, what the heck was it? Uh, I think the one that I always got a kick out of, Baldazar's gold. I go, okay, so we're making a color over the dude's gold. Why is his gold different than everybody else's? So again, see how see how that's all working out. You know, the queen is not going to get a standing ovation when I get out of this. <laughs> she don't shut up them dogs. Uh. How many, uh, Kenneth asked, how many coats of contrast did you put on? Uh, Rob, I didn't actually put any. Used, Rob actually used dragon red rather than the contrast. The contrast is a, an alternative, and you'd have to basically put a layer on. I and think see you only like need, it. yeah, I think you only need one layer. You only need one layer. There you go. So, Crescent Dancer says his cats like your dragon miniature. Well, hey, that's important. All right, let's come back up top here. Because like Cthulhu, or Cthulhu Kitty used to love the miniatures. Well, Cthulhu Kitty is now with uh, Mimi uh, in her room because it, it just it, out here uh, she was chasing, you know, she was chasing too many things and getting into too much stuff, and she got sick one time. We thought that was it. So you would let this dry, and everything would come out just the way you want it. All right. And now we're going to come over to this guy. Now, look how dark this is. Okay. This is after I completely covered him with everything. I mean, just completely covered. <sighs> yes, we hear your children. Yes. Well, you know what it is? It's that time of day when the delivery guy comes and he drops off 9,000 boxes. Of course. Okay, so again, here we go where, you know, you can see where I kind of painted in the teeth here. But do you see how dark this is? We've got to bring this back out now. And that's what we really want to do here. And how we're going to do that. And I also took um, some very strong uh, dark tone and I went over the base. So look over the base here and you can see how it changes. Yep, much more depth than texture. Exactly. Question. Go ahead. What is the difference between the army painter washes and a regular paint like black paint with 
or brown paint with more water? Um, it, 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 well, no, you don't put water. Water doesn't then. Water doesn't make a a wash. Okay. Um. Let me read. Where's that question so I can read it again? Uh, um, Who is it? Seven, Carlos Michi. Two thirty-seven. All right, just give me a second. Hold on for a second. Uh, it's just making sure. I can repeat it for you if you want. Yeah, can you? Because I can't find it. Because I'm concentrating on nine different things. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, okay. So, anyways, getting back to this, another wash is over this, and we got to paint that guy back, put that on there. So again, using your old glue, which I just got, I just got done doing those two robots. Holy cow! Those were it, a pain. In the neck. It popped up in Streamyard. If you've, if you're there, or do you want me to send it for an email? What's that? The question. Oh, I'll find it. I'll find it. I'll answer it in a bit. Basically, a, a wash is, is, you know, I don't know how they make it. I, I know that a medium is involved and that cuts it. But water is not going to thin your paint out. It's going to break your paint down. So you don't ever want to try to do a wash with watered down paint. It doesn't do what you want it to do. It doesn't flow the same either. Yeah, it doesn't flow the same either. Okay, there we go. Boom. All right, so that's cool. All right, let's get back to our, our big boy here. All right, so he's really, really dark. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take, I believe I have it over here. It is a pure red. Okay. And this is a lighter color that we are going to dry brush over. What the heck do I got here? Okay, that's from the glue. Um and we're going to try to work that over. We're also going to take, we're going to be taking our skeletal bone and going back over all these areas. So why don't we start there first and then we'll work our way. Well, you know what? I always like to do it the other way. So we're going to go with our pure red and we're going to go over and going to take a good an, an older brush yeah this one's older because we're going to dry brush with this and i like using a bigger brush because it covers a lot more area and then i'm mm -hmm. just going to put some in the thing here and then from there all i'm going to do is just take and you can see it almost looks a little orangey that's okay don't worry that's not what's going to happen here folks uh-uh what I want to do is I really want to get as much of this on in this brush, but I don't want it overpowering the brush. How's uh, oh. Eric doing? Oh, uh, why don't we, why don't we find out? How are you doing over there? Oh, there he goes. Looking yeah. good. Well, I'm working on this here. I feel like I may be going too fast. My my colors are kind of bleeding oh, together. Yeah, you gotta let you gotta let it yeah. sit and dry a little bit. Yeah. You definitely gotta gotta let it sit and dry. That's all right. You can fix that. So just yep. you know, put it down, let it dry a little bit, and then you know, sit and watch for a little bit. You're not gonna be able to finish it all in the same thing the way I do. Okay. Okay. Awesome. But it, you let it dry really, really well, and then mm -hmm. go back over with that skeletal bone over that area, and you're gonna be all right. Actually, change your water, too, while you can. One so, of the things I find helpful sometimes if you're trying to paint quickly in a more humid climate, which I have, is I have like a little fan on my desk that I can use to blow the blow on the mini. Yeah, you could do that, too. Ah, yep. Okay. All right. So now we're going to start the dry brushing part of this. And what I want to do is I really want to get this off here. This out. Okay. And then what I usually do... And I, I said this last week. Sometimes I just <laughs> lightly go. Sorry. Madison liked the pink belly. She thought that was an awesome touch. Well, there you go. Looks like a Valentine's dragon. What you want is you don't want what you see right here. And that's where 
where I tried to lightly go over these letters to make these letters show, and it really gets in there. It, it's too thick. So I, I, I need to take a little bit more off here because you don't, you, when you dry brush, you really just want to hit the highlights and you want to go over this ever so lightly. Just, and it's just going to bring out certain things. And that's all I'm going to do here. And it's going to be a little difficult to see, but you'll see on certain parts here because I really darkened his face for a reason. I mean, I let the, the wash really get in there and pile up, and normally I wouldn't do that. And the reason I did that was specifically so you can see in 720p. Thank, thank you, Steam Yard. Um, <laughs> Someday. No, I think we're going to go over to Zoom. I just, I have to figure out a few things. And right. I think we'll be all right. So right here in his face, this is where I was talking about. And what I want to do is watch how his face starts to come back to life for us. Just by going over that a little bit. And just taking over his ears. And bringing that dragon back to life a little bit. We're going to fix his teeth too. Like a dentist. And then you just want to take. And you really just want to just go all the way down this thing. And just keep on going and, and bringing out areas that you see are too dark. And bring out the highlight areas. And if you want to, you come back over to this. Or area, little area that I have here and you just get enough on here and you just work your way through and you're going to do this and you really want to make him sit up you want those scales to come out that's what you really want to do oh and I'm drifting sorry yeah I was sleeping for, I was looking for something else. Mm -hmm. That's what I get. Yeah, that's what you get. All right. Then if you have to, you just take a little bit more paint out of your, uh, out of your dish there. Not much. See how much I've taken? I just put a, 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 little bit. a little bit. And then I worked it into that same area so I can work over there and then come back over here. And pull it off and you're going to keep on working here you're going to find certain areas and you just because you don't want to lose that that beautiful wash that you got in there okay that wash just brings so much depth and you just want to work all the way down because you want this dragon to just you just want to highlight the, the high spots okay and you don't want to drown it out because if you're not careful you can really Make this go a, a whole different way than what you want it to. All right. So, again, I'm coming. And it's just sitting right up there. And that's exactly all I'm asking this little dry brush to do. It's just. It's not a little dry brush. It's a big dry brush. But. <laughs> uh Daniel, um, we these are pre-primed miniatures, so we're not covering priming techniques in this series at the moment. Priming, I'm answering, answering questions. Okay, yeah, priming. Honestly, um, you know, uh, I'll probably do a taped thing next week, and we'll show a little. We're, we're going to show a little. It's, it'd be like school. It's going to be a little home movie before we go do what we got to do. And I'm going to show you how I prime the um, uh, the water, uh, water elemental. Water elemental. I'm losing my mind now. If you're going to paint along and the the video isn't up, we do have videos on our channel, Rob's Tabletop World, that cover yeah. priming. Yeah, just go to Painting 101. It'll show you how to prime. It's really easy. Just get yourself some good. Make sure it says primer, not paint, paint and primer. Okay, that's where a lot of mistakes happen and a lot of bad things go wrong. Mm -hmm. right. Wow, this is looking okay. All right, so 
Now we're going to clean off our brush. We're going to fold our piece of paper here. We're going to put this brush aside because red is very strong. Okay, so I don't trust that I can get all the red out. That's all right. Going a little better over there, Eric? A little bit. I'm just letting it dry some. Awesome. Yeah, that's all you got to do. It just takes a little bit. It depends how thick you put it on there. You got to, you know, get a fan or something and, you know, it'll, it'll dry fairly quickly. Sean right. Mikowski, welcome. Okay, so we have uh, some skeletal bone. Uh, we're going to put some of that in. There we go. And we're going to do the same thing that we did. Whoa, what happened there? Hi, Warlord Steno. <laughs> that's <laughs> did we get raided? Uh, that's that's the boy. Yeah, that's the boy. And if you haven't seen the funniest <laughs> and the weirdest uh, war World of Warcraft uh, stream, oh boy, it's something else. Piteous, thank you so much. We appreciate you, bro. Yeah, I'm actually going to come up top for a second. Oh, no. It already went through. We're getting raided. Yeah, we got raided. <laughs> totally got raided. All right. We totally got raided. Welcome to everybody from High, Lord Sino, High Warlord Sino's channel. Mm -hmm. We are painting the Young Red Dragon from the Nulzar's Marvelous Miniatures line today. Mm -hmm. Now... You do, you want to do the same thing that we were talking about, and really now watch watch what happens here. And what I like to do is I like to go against the grain here. So I really kind of want to just work that in there. And remember, our original color was was this this bone, and this is how we're going to bring it all back to life. Is once we get that that very nice. Ninja Jack is now following us and got a dance in Pikachu. You got to look. Nice. Over Absolutely. on Twitch. It's going on all over on Twitch. And what I like to do is I really like to rub this in here and not wash it out. But I like to, I'll turn my brush sideways. And I really want to get this to come all the way through here. Okay. The real part that really highlights is getting this all right let's just thin this out a little uh, really get this in this brush here and i really want to make this dragon stand up i think he's about to clean up underneath what? sure i want a red dragon for my adventuring party all right We'll go and go down to Miniature Market, and you will get one. Again, I'm going against the grain. I really like doing this because it really it makes that bone stand up. Dish, 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 dish. <laughs> I like how you said it's the boy. Yes. It's the what? It, <laughs> I like how you said it's the boy. It's my son. Yep. Steph, Steven, 2187, just joined us on Twitch. Thank you so much. And, hey, don't feel left out, folks. You can join us here. You can subscribe here at YouTube. We also have Rob's Tabletop World on YouTube as well. And we'd love to have you over here as well. And that's right. We're just going to really make that neck stand out. And then we're going to come down over here a bit. Again, really highlighting his horns, okay? Coming through here. Really taking and not losing all that beautiful dark shade that we put in there, but actually just kind of really helping it stand out. I'm left-handed, and I got the thing on the wrong side. Always helpful. Yeah, that's me. That's me, folks. All right. At the very end of this, for those of you that are here, don't forget that we are giving away gift certificates to, to Miniature Market towards the end of this. Okay? Once I get done 
getting some of these things uh, in line here. Clear that out. I want to go to a smaller brush. Uh, Baby BM, yes, there's two people painting. Uh, in the main screen, we have Rob painting, who's doing the thing. And this is called Paint with Rob. So we have one of our channel members, Eric, in just below me down there. He is working on his young drag dragon as well. Always working on dragons. Today. Yeah. Next week, it's a water elemental. So you definitely want to be with us. And stick around. We are definitely going to be giving away um, some stuff. Hero Dragon MK says he switched to Twitch for better quality. Well, there you go. <laughs> James noted that both he and I were one off last time. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. We have the roll off of death coming very soon. Now he's got a couple of spikes here. I usually wait till the end because I always, you always end up going over them. So what's the point, right? Mm -hmm. So now we just take our little brush here. And I was going to try, go ahead. Uh, Ryan was asking about painting eyes. I was just going to mention that the first in the series, the beholder had quite a few eyes. So if you're looking yeah. for kind of a, a bunch of, uh, of practice with it. That's an excellent mini to paint and has some great tips. Yeah. Now for this this guy, I'm going to try to just give him a, a nice yellow eye. Hopefully. And I'm going to use a very bright yellow. And I hope this is sharp enough. I think it will be. I think it will be. That's pretty sharp. That's pretty sharp. The Hero Dragon MK is now following us on Twitch. Everybody subscribe over to Twitch. Thank you so much. What are you priming your water elemental with? Uh, I am going to be priming him with a Citadel White. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, I uh, We had somebody observe that she painted her own she he painted their own porcelain dragons they never came out this nice uh part of that has to do with detail in the miniature this line of miniatures is very detailed which makes it kind of work and so the paint has to do so the painter has to do less work the sculpt does a lot of the work for us and i'll be honest with you these 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 whiz kid these wood kids models are ridiculous i mean they are just fantastic they really are. They really stand out and really, really are, are absolutely beautiful. Now, I got this kind of where I want it. The only thing I think I want to do is I really... Calraxon is now following us on Twitch. Boy, they are just jumping ahead Then here on... On a... Whatchamacallit? On a... YouTube. So please like and subscribe over on YouTube as well. Okay, so we're going to take some lava orange. Look at this. Gaming is for this bra. <laughs> that is a great name. <laughs> is now following us. Nice. Okay. okay, we're going to take some lava orange here. Now you're saying, okay, why are you going to put orange on that dragon? I am not going to put orange on that dragon. I'm going to put so little orange on that dragon. But the reason I want to put a little bit of orange on this dragon is, again, I just want to build that light and shadow. So, again, where he's not. Shea Brewer is now following us on, on, on Twitch. Thank you so much, brother. I appreciate it more than you can ever know. Hey, don't forget to subscribe also over on YouTube and smash that like button like there's no tomorrow. These, these miniatures from our friends over at... Now, you see how bright that is? We don't want him to be that bright. Okay, it's almost I want, blinding. It's almost blinding. I, I just want to take this and do so little. Cobra 7, 770, how are you doing? Sorry, now, I just realized we still have the Warren Pieces logo up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, we're pros. I love it. Okay. I just looked up there. 
Anyway, a little tiny bit of orange, and then we're going to lightly brush it over the yeah. highlights of the wings. Yeah, I just want a little bit more, though. So I, I just wanted to go over the over areas, and I wanted to just sit there enough. Just sit there enough. And you're going to want to stick in here, folks, because we are giving two gift certificates to Miniature Market Away very shortly. Very shortly. It's cool that you keep the other screen up and you can hear people uh, subscribing over on Twitch. I wish we did that on, on, on YouTube. All right. I know, so anyways, don't have that feature. I know. So again, and Marty Mart 85. That's actually a cool name. Marty Mart. I don't want this orange to take this over. I just want to create more light. That's all I want to do. I just want to create more light on his front. <laughs> Kez Crash is now following us over there. It's like going crazy over there. Uh, it's the orange is flame thrower orange, something like that. No, lava orange. Lava orange. I knew it was something hot and spicy. <laughs> oh my god, Helen! What? You're an. You're a ratings nightmare. <laughs> you're, we're we're going to get this. I love you, too. <laughs> no, I mean, I think it's a flaming. <laughs> you know, you, all of a sudden, you know how YouTube is. Next thing you know, we'll be banned for nine years <laughs> because they take it the wrong way. Uh, Christopher says, cool, I actually have that color. <laughs> hey! Hey! <laughs> we love when we hit one that you've got in your sets. There we go. And look, Rob has tried to keep it to a fairly limited set of paints so that everybody mm -hmm. can try it because we all know miniature painting isn't necessarily for everyone. No, it's not. It's not for everyone, but I, I'm, I'm anybody can do it. Absolutely. And that, it's not for everyone, but anybody can do it. Mm -hmm. All right. How, how long? Oh, we're an hour in. That's perfect. We don't Mark go, says, he, he goes all the way back to the board game breakfast days. Oh, does he? Yeah. You legend, you. Thank you so much for, for following us over on Thank Twitch. You. And Thank following you. us over here on... David Ross has my back. He says, lava equals hot and spicy. There, Yeah, there you go. Yeah. I'm only kidding with you, Helen. Relax. All right, again, this orange, I just want so little of it. It's almost like taking a feather. I always say this all the time. And just lightly going over it. Swiftbrook is now following us over on Twitch. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. More than you can ever, ever know. We're Thank you for joining our Twitch army, and thank all of you for joining our YouTube army, those of you that have joined today. I really appreciate it. And more than, we're going to be doing so much of this. Now, look, I'm going to try to come over to the other camera here so maybe we can get a nice look at how this orange just sits up. And I'm going to take some pictures. I'm going to put it on our Instagram and our t uh, Twitter. We have a Twitter, yeah. Yeah, we have a Twitter. So you You're guys streaming can... on Twitch, we have Twitter. Okay. Also, yeah. let's see. That's Seahawk 86. 86. But it should be under Rob's tabletop world. Both of them. I don't because remember. I, yeah, doing oh, one. it is. Yeah, it switched to Rob's tabletop world. No, that, that was Twitch. See, I did it now. Yeah, there you Seahawk go. 860 for Twitter. If you're on the YouTube channel, there's a link in the description. All right. This little bit of orange goes a long, long way. And let's let's see if we can... Uh, i got to remember which one. Okay, we're going to come over here. Whoops, whoops. Okay, there we are. And then, and then I go over here and I go to our our movable one. There you go. Ooh! All right, fancy. Now, now look here, and you can see it right in the leg pattern. It's just a touch over the top of that scale, so you have layers upon layers sitting up on there, and you don't lose any of that nice, beautiful wash that you have in there. And that's what you want. That's what you want. I love that angle. Yeah, I came up with that. You're awesome. I sure am. <laughs> so, like Ross is the, Rob is the Bob Ross of miniatures. Just can watch and relax. Okay. You can do that. You can. You can. And that, 
The next thing that you want to do is you're going to put in this piece here. There we go. Another question for you. Hold on. Hold on. I know. Hold on. We're trying to get to it. All right. There we go. And let's go over and we're going to move this guy out of the way and we're going to turn it this way. We'll, we'll have some great, uh, we'll, we'll have some good pictures of it. I don't think that's supposed to go that way. How are you getting along there, Eric? Much better after I let it dry some. Excellent. Yeah, You know, it's so easy to, uh, and I've done it plenty of times. I'm in a rush. I want to get this done. You get excited about it because you want to play a certain game. And then you realize, uh, you know, I probably should have took a little bit more time with it. Sometimes, you know, just taking your time saves you a lot of grief. Okay, there we go. Well, this is an excellent example also of um, how long it takes for paint to dry. The question we had earlier, Rob's in a different climate than Eric. And so, and their paints are drying, even though they're using the same paints, Eric is also using Army Painter paints, but Rob's are drying at a different rate than Eric's are. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, is he ready for his close-up? Oh, wait a minute. You're kind of off screen so, if you're using that one. Well, there we go. There we go. All right. And that's what we're looking for. Look at that, huh? Now I'm going to glue him to this base. He really needs to be glued there. But there, I mean, there you go. It, and, and, and you saw it wasn't that hard. It's easy. Anybody can do this. Could you rotate to his left? His left. Oh, rotate to his left. So we do this. We'll just get an all-around view because, you know, he's there cool. We there we go. Every time I think it's done, you add something more <laughs> and blow me away. How much more amazing can it look? It's all right. Again, this I this I, this is the way I do beginner things, and I really want. I, I know you guys can do this. I really really believe that you guys can do this. All right, I, I try to keep it nice and simple so you guys can learn and do this. And this is this is this is not hard. There's nothing to this. Okay, just follow the steps I have. This, we we build a blueprint for you, and you can do it. Just take your time. Everybody makes mistakes. It's just knowing how to fix the mistakes. And Question for you still. Go ahead. Do you ever mix colors or are you always just touching in layers? Uh, I mix colors. I mix colors. But again, you know, we, we've stated it quite a bit is that we really, really want to try to keep this nice and simple. I, you know, listen, and I've said this before and I'm going to say it hopefully for the last time. There are so many fantastic painters out there. They are fantastic. But when you start watching them, you can't keep up with them. I mean, I can't keep up with some of them because they're so good. My thing is to teach you the basics. And then when you feel comfortable enough, move on to the, some of these other fantastic painters that can do so many wonderful things and you can learn so much. I really, really, really enjoy just teaching you guys. And, and keeping it nice and simple. Okay. Go ahead. You were going to say something. Uh, uh, just more questions. Uh, Trevin, okay. uh, Trevin says, just a comment from him, I need to get some paints. Uh, I don't think I can afford Army Painter, though. Check out Mini Market. They're the best source for it. There's a link in the description on Rob's mm -hmm. YouTube channel. Um, they have some very affordable sets. And I, I, I really mm -hmm. feel that they hit it where you guys need it to be to really I was just vacuuming and just came back that dragon looks great thank you Kabuk um I you uh, know, go ahead uh do you think it would turn out that nice using like uh cheap acrylics um hobby store acrylic I think you can do the basics with 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 that um a matter of fact go over to one pip wonder uh my my very dear friend uh she used some very basic acrylics and she at, and she picked up like she picked up some cheap acrylics but she got some washes and it actually worked really really well and i 
you know, when we first started this, we used, we were mixing in some cheap acrylics to try to show people how to do it. Um, and, and it worked out all right. You want to go middle of the road acrylics. Uh, you can't go cheap like the Apple ones. They're horrible, 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 horrible. But to begin, just to try out, get your basic colors and try it out. The, the, the pigment is really really tough with, with, with the with, with the cheap acry uh, acrylics. I, I, I really think that if you get yourself a nice little box set, what you would have paid for the cheap acrylics at Hobby Lobby or Marshalls or uh, Michaels or whatever you're going to go to, you can get yourself a nice little beginner set, uh, army builder, uh, army painter, uh, beginner set, and they're really cheap over at Miniature Market. And it really, really will make a difference. All right. How about we give you guys a giveaway? You, you people that have hung in there. Okay. Why don't we give some stuff away to you? I like giving stuff away. Okay. I love giving stuff away. I love giving stuff away. Now, listen. The way this game works, even though I wish I had my other thing out, it would have been a lot of fun is usually we play tumbling dice, which is our new thing. And then you guys have to guess the number that I roll totally. But no. No. We're going back to, you got to pick a number, 1 through 100. 1 through 100. You can only pick one. Now, don't start picking numbers right away. Don't start picking numbers right away. You're going to see in your chat, I mean, in the chat, when it says start now, you pick one number. If you're on both channels, you can't pick one number for each channel or, or, or all three channels, okay? You, ha you have to pick just one number, okay? Now, when you pick the one number, when it stop now, when I put stop now, we give you plenty of time. I'm going to roll the dice. The closest to that number wins. If there is a tie, we have a roll off of death. Helen will explain all that when we get to that point. Okay. Whoever hits it on the head will win a gift certificate and will have to email me at novaprime860 at hotmail.com. And I will send that gift certificate out to you within an hour or two or three, depending on how I get done here. All right. Let's go down to the table and no. Give some stuff away. Well, no, we don't need to go down to the table yet. All right. And they're good gift certificates, folks. It's, it's not cheap. We, don't, we, we do things all right here. I'll tell you. And make sure you go over to Miniature Market. I mean, they do some great things. As a matter of fact, I can talk about all about that. Yes, even if you're in the UK, you could play. You could play. I don't care where you are in the world right now. We will one number you. per person, even one if you're number on, both, per person. On, on multiple streams. When you see start now, put your number in. Make sure you get your number in because wait for I, the start now. Wait for the start now. Hold on, cereal here. Oh, he he said I was going to say cereal. Here. What are you doing, bro? You gotta wait. You gotta wait. Wait, Robert the Scott. Numbers Hold that on, aren't man. between the start and stop now don't count. So stop. <laughs> right. There we go. All right, now. All right, now do it. <laughs> Y'all disqualified. <laughs> now get your numbers in now. And we and we give you plenty Very of time. Very funny downriver. Yeah, I know. We give you plenty of time. Now. We do have a question from an interesting question from our Twitch viewers. Go ahead. Uh, what has been your favorite thing to paint? Okay. My favorite thing to paint? Um, uh, Cthulhu Death May Die. I had a lot of fun painting that recently. We've got to try that game. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to be putting that up. Um, we're, we're going to be playing that live here. This week was kind of messed up. We were supposed to get a lot of stuff done on the channel. We we've we streamed for 44 days straight, you know, during this uh very difficult time to try to give you guys sometimes twice a day. 
Uh, I streamed earlier. We did an adventure book type of thing. We're doing a paint thing now. And uh, we're, we're just really doing our best to, um, to, you know, to get everybody through a very Absolutely. difficult time. And then uh, what Sorry. was the miniature you were not excited about painting, but were surprised with how well it came out? Atlas from, um, oh God, Mythic. Well, that one comes. A Mythic Battles Pantheon? Yeah, Mythic Battles Pantheon. I thought Atlas was going to come out, uh, but it came out all right. And we'd love questions like that. You can, if you ask them anytime during the stream, I will hold them for the game. So um, actually, this is a good time for this one. Godzilla asked if I had painted before I, uh, before I met Rob or before I encountered Rob. I had started painting miniatures just a little bit and I stumbled on Rob's channel and I never left. Whoa! Spider! Ho! Spider 461 is now following us on, on Twitch. Thank you so much. Hello. Make Very sure nice. you subscribe to YouTube. We paint all the time. We play games all the time. We get you guys involved. We give away stuff all the time. We had two giveaway games this week. <laughs> Ivan, you can. Oh, you, it's okay to dupe somebody else. Um, we, if if you both end up being closest to the pin, then we have the roll off of death. Yes, the roll off of death. Listen to me, and I'll tell you when when to give me a number. Mm -hmm. But you gotta hit. I gotta hit it. You got a one in one hundred chance of me hitting. Are we going exact numbers this time again? No. So, uh, well, I mean, it's it's whoever's close. Close. To oh, the okay. You know something? We could do that. We could be dangerous. We could have a rollover. Either you oh, hit man. it directly. Oh, that would be ugly. Yeah, be let's ugly. let's let's keep that for tumbling dice because that's kind of fun. Yeah, that's kind of fun. There can be only right. one. Yes, there can be only one winner. Right. That's the roll over death. Let's take a look at Eric here. Eric, how you doing? Oh, good, look at Eric. that. Looking All good, right. man. See how much better it is now? Oh, yeah. There you go. The, That's a great you did job. A good job. Exactly you did a good job getting saying. into those horns. Yeah. Exactly what you were saying earlier, Rob. Anybody can do this. This is my first time having a blast. Awesome. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll have you back again. Yeah. Definitely. I would love to have you back. Why wouldn't you subscribe to Rob's Tabletop World or BGG? I mean, this is the kind of content we give you all the time. All the time. All the time. Nice job, Eric. All right. If you if you have painted uh all if right. you've painted do, do you think we got all the hold on. Yeah, do we're we... pretty close. If we've painted along with Rob, uh send and send him an email at NovaPrime860 at hotmail.com yeah. with cop with the pictures and the name that you would like associated with that picture when we do our community okay. showcase. It's all about the community here at Rob's Tabletop World. Always has been. Always will be. All right. All right. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. We're going to stop. I can feel this thing. All right. All right. We have stopped. I'm sweating okay. over here. Okay. So here we go. We're going to go down to the table. And I'm just going to keep it on the table here. The, All right. The dragon is going to be the dragon watch is just like Baylor did last night. Yeah. I mean, last week. He's going to check this out, and he's going to make sure that this is official. Yes, audited this by This is for a gift certificate to Miniature Market. You're going to want to win this one. You're going to I want to win this one. I'm telling you. All right. It is. A hold on. 30. 30. Six. Six. Who picked right, 36? Um, what do we got? Who picks 36? I see a 27. We got to get closer than that. Come on, people. 32. 33. 34. Well, 34 is close. That's two away. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, Jay Kuntz, 36 on the, on the nose. He hit it on the woodwork. Hit it on the woodwork. Oh, Crystaliana, 35. So close. Jay Scharf, also 36. Oh, we got two. 
We got two. Looks like the roll off of death is coming. It is. Roll off of death. Explain it, Helen. Uh, okay. And Serial Heroes is, of course, 37, but that's just not close just enough. Just a bit outside. Yeah. Let me double check and make sure I've got all the 36s. Where was that from, Kabuk? Okay. And yes, that is it. All right. So the roll off of death. We are going to need a number from. Let's see who we need first here. I will get. I'm gonna I'm gonna call out your name in, and then I'm gonna need a number from you, and then we'll, the other person will give a give us another number, and the closest wins. So we have coming from the bottom. Who did I say first, Rob? Do you remember? Jay oh, two J. J. Kuntz. Kuntz. Yep. Okay. Jay Kuntz, give me a number. Are you on? A 54. All right. Jay Scharf, give me a number. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Whoever is closest. A 55. All right. They've split oh, it. They think I'm going to roll high here. Jay Sharp thinks I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to put up some numbers here. All right. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens here. 84. 84. Jay Sharp. Jay Sharp read my mind. He read my mind. He knew I was going to roll high. Congratulations, Jay. And the other Jay, I'm sorry. But hey, come back next week. We're always giving stuff away. Do me a favor and email me at novaprime860 at hotmail.com. And I will get that gift certificate right out to you. Hey, but we don't give away one gift certificate. We no, give away two gift certificates. And maybe next week I could talk the big man into giving us three. <sighs> Dum, dum, dum. Yeah, I think I will. I think I will. All right. But you get a second chance at this. And that starts now. Yes, it did, didn't it? Okay. Yep. And Good. here we go. <laughs> All right. We have another interesting question. Go ahead. Do you only design, create, paint, and paint fictional characters? Have you ever attempted something real, like a World War II tank, Sherman? Oh God, I have complete armies. I have, um, I've done Civil War. I've done um, antiquities. I do. Um, geez, what else do I do? What I've done? Um, I've done Napoleonics. I've been painting closer to thirty years, and have mm -hmm. done just about everything that you can imagine. Uh, I do a lot of uh, the space program stuff, the Apollo series and things like that. Really sci-fi sci stuff. I, I'm all over the place. It's not just our boy here. This just happens to be the series that we partnered up with Miniature Market and Army Painter to do. So right now we're doing... And, and WizKids. Let's not forget WizKids. And WizKids. Don't forget WizKids yep. to do the fantasy miniatures. They're also excellent single miniatures, so you're not... Oh, they're, and they're, they're, just... they're beautiful sculpts, pre-assembled, pre-primed, so it takes a lot of the... Um, a lot of the uh, preliminary steps out, and you can just get right to painting. Absolutely. I, I mean, these are just absolutely fantastic. Halo, the uh, battle scenes. Yeah, yes, I've done Halo stuff. Uh, Halo actually had a, a board game that was a, um, a miniature game. I did all that. So uh, a lot of fun. Eller and Darkwind, uh, the the paint lists should be up early this coming week for the Water Elemental. It'll be yeah, if you follow it, the link. Yeah, Monday. It's going to be a lot of blues yeah, and white. It's going, <laughs> it's going to be a lot of blues and white. <laughs> we're going to have so many variants of blues because the way we're just going to build this incredible 
water elemental to be so i i really want him to have depth and and, and just it's going to be fun there you go numbers still pouring in numbers still pouring in hopefully we don't have another roll off of death i don't like breaking people's hearts like that i know i know i know uh after the water elemental is a stone golem and then um we will pick another five if this series is still want if everybody still wants us to keep going with the series we will keep on going from there yep. we picked out five initially just to see how y'all enjoyed it yeah and like uh, you're having fun. yeah you're Let's still working back. on your mini over there yeah that's what i was gonna right. do i was just gonna come right in oh look at him all right so what, what are you what are you using there uh so I'm using the uh, vampire red. I didn't have any dragon red. Okay. So ah, I'm just right. getting a, it seemed a little thin, so I'm just getting another layer on before I there you go. Head on to the next steps. Jeez. Next thing you know, you'll be hosting saying, the show. <laughs> lots of people saying they're in for another five or whatever you want to do. Uh, is there a primer if you want to keep the transparent effects? No, you just go straight over the yep. plastic. And um if Go you're ahead. having a hard time with a transparent effect, you can hit it with just a, uh, with getting things to stick. If you hit it with a little bit of uh, ultra mat, it'll help things stick too. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't have a problem. It should just go right on. Not with these minis, but I I have encountered that on other minis where I wanted to like put a have, tint have you, on a transparent and it wouldn't stick. Have you tried? Um, uh, yeah. Timothy just, yeah, we can't, just said, we can't get hit that. it with a mat. Hit it with a mat, yep. spray first, and then go over Yep, yep. I was just going to say it. Yep. But we're going to give Timothy yes. a credit on that one. Yeah. yeah. Have right. you ever done any McFarlane minis? I don't even know what that is. So Yes, I've done a spawn. Uh, I actually I have him in my room. He's actually pretty cool. Cool. All right. I think we've, we've pretty well... Uh... <laughs> down to conversation so okay let's get this Boom. puppy down the road and we're keeping all it right. nice and clean. all right there we go and again we, we kept it to an hour and a half how much more can you ask all right all right here we go this is what it's all about this is how we bring it home i feel like i should have a drum roll right now this is how you bring home a very a very fun and enjoyable paint program you give away some money Oh, 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 oh. What do we got? Seven. We have a seven. We have a seven. All right. Yep. What do we got here, folks? That is a an seven. An 11? Uh-oh. Marcus with a five. Marcus with a five. I rolled a seven. Hey, so Carlos had a two. Carlos oh, had a two. Swiftbrook with an eight. Oh, That's eight's closer. close. That's one away. One away. Arrogator has an eight. All right. That's two eights. Is there a seven? We have a seven. And if I miss you, feel free to holler out. No. Zeblik has an eight. That's three people. I see three eights. Three eights. All right. All right, so That's it. it's three eights. Three eights are our closest. So we're gonna go to Swiftbrook first. Pick Give me a number. a number. Swiftbrook. Three eights. That'll win you some money in Vegas. Boom, boom, boom. Whoa! Dude. A to Look, he right. almost fell, yeah, he almost he fell off his uh, porch. Just by, he went, hey, can't have three eights. <laughs> All right. Okay. Arrogator, would you give me your number, please? I'm just going to throw a little, throw a little magic in there. I just glue this guy. Okay, I have Arrogator's number and Zeblik. Could you give me your number? Ze Did Zeblik win last week? No. 
He wants something else. And Zublik has a 50. Excellent. All right. All right. All right. Are we ready? <sighs> I'm tense here. I'm, I'm even more sweaty than I was last time, you guys. It's crazy. Boy, we really didn't need to know that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I saw that one. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Yeah, well. 85. An 85. That makes it Swiftbrook. Congratulations. Swiftbrook with the big win. Look at you, kid. Look at you. Make sure you email in NovaPrime860 at hotmail.com. You have won a gift certificate to our dear friends over at Miniature Market. Boom. All right. You did and it keep again. Keep supporting with the market because without their help, we can't give these giveaways. So go over there, get your paints, get your Definitely. minis. That is for sure, without a doubt. Okay. All right. That wraps up another exciting. Is that is that your kid, Eric? That is my kid. Uh, hi, girl, boy. Say hi. Here, we're gonna put you. Howdy, gonna put you hi. Hey, how you doing? Good. You'll have to paint along with us next time. You're on YouTube. You can tell all your friends. Hi. Hi. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sweet. All right. Okay. Let's get back to it. Let's close it out the way. Only wait, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. Woof. Oh, we have a quick question. What is a good question. what is a good start with paint set? Uh one of the uh, the army painter basic paint sets pretty good. If you want all the colors, their mega set's great. Find find what you want to paint first. And then they have different types of things. Like they have, like if you wanted to paint Zombicide or zombies and stuff like that, they have a Zombicide set. They have different sets for different things. And it, it's really fantastic. Oh, Whoa, Timmy, sticker. thank you for the super sticker. I really thank appreciate you. it, brother. I really appreciate it. More than you know. Thank you so and much. Happy birthday, Christopher. Happy birthday, Christopher. But go there; that they'll take good care of you. Uh, I, I mean, I mean, find what you want to do, and then build around that. Get yourself a nice little star set. A lot of them come with a, a, a brush already in there, and it and it just saves a lot of everything. Um, of course, you can go as crazy as you want, mega paint sets and all that other stuff. But I always suggest something nice and small. Um, I've got I got some specialty ones that I've picked up. You know, these were nice and cheap. Um, they do a lot of different things. They, you know, they help you with a lot of different things that you want to do. And you can get these at Miniature Market as well. All right. Listen, I think I've said it all. We've done it all. We have done so much today. We have gone over and above. We've had a great time. We painted a dragon. We've given away gift certificates. We've answered questions. We've gotten people on Twitch. Thank you so much for following us on Twitch. We had a bunch of dance and Pikachu's going going down here. Not only that, make sure you like and subscribe here at Rob's Tabletop World on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe over at BGG. Okay, they are always giving you the best. They got Chaz, they got Rodney, they got the Murph Brothers, they got Lincoln, they got Aldi doing shows now. Everybody doing something. For you guys, you know it. Make sure you smash that like button till it hurts. Okay. Uh, you know, big if old. You are, if you are Amazon Prime and you have the ability, go over to Twitch. If you're not already supporting a channel, we'd love to have you support us. Amazon Prime lets you support one channel for free. There you go. I want to thank Eric for coming in today. Eric, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. You did, you did a great job. Thanks for following along and making us look good because you make us look good. If it just came out, uh, you know, a train wreck, then why are we doing this? <laughs> right? You're doing great and you're having fun. And that's the most important thing. Awesome. All right. All of you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your Friday. We will see you tomorrow. We're always doing something. Right, Helen? Always. All right. Until next time, for Eric, for Helen, for myself, until next time, we We'll see you soon. Support Miniature Market, Army Painter, Whiz Kids, And we will see you next week with the Water Elemental. Don't forget.
Watermelon Elemental. Make sure you get it over on Miniature Market, 10% off. We'll see you later, everybody. Have a great day.